everybody, my name is Professor Sabuna Isaac Berry from Berry Science Lab, and today we will be looking at Napoleon Part 4. Oh yeah, Part 4. So today we will be looking at the War of the Second Coalition. The War of the Second Coalition, while Britain had one thing, a good army on the seas, but it also had another thing. What was that other thing? Copious freaking amounts of money. As another historian describes it, copious amounts of money. The Brits could throw anything at anyone who was willing to do their dirty crap. And while it wasn't exactly dirty crap to overthrow Napoleon, it's mixed, but the Brits threw money at literally all the other emperors and kings to really just try and punch France in the face a second time. And this worked so far. 1800, Napoleon was put in charge of the army. Well, because in the meantime, he was looking at some freaky man sticks and uh, sphinxes. But now that he was sent back to France, France did surprisingly well. So, France actually punched back. And what it did was it took control of the Low Countries and it established a new republic in Italy and by conquering Northern Italy and absolutely crushing Austrian forces. And again, Austrian Emperor Francis II had to resign a second time because once again, France was just sneaking its way to Vienna. And the thing was, in the peace treaties, in the peace treaties, things were generous, to say the least, to Austria. There was a secret clause that would say that Austria would get the Republic of Venice that Napoleon had conquered in 1798, ending over 1,100 years of independence. Sorry, the most serene Republic of Venice. Wish it would come back. But you can't secede from Italy. The Republic of Venice was marched through by France and destroyed, and it was planned to be given to Austria, but this time, France took it again. All right, so now, that's the War of the Second Coalition and the Peace Treaty of Leobes, along with the other more comprehensive treaty. We'll see you next time.